Hello again my friend. In the previous JavaScript video lesson we demonstrated how a programmer can detect exactly what keyboard keys the user is pressing. In that video I said we would do a follow up lesson that shows the simple logic of how to program things to happen in the document according to specific keys being pressed. For this exercise I'm going to target the users W, A, S, and D keys which are popular for controlling movement in games and such. Okay, here I am at developphp.com, and this is the code from the previous lesson that I just put out was the capture keyboard input tutorial that shows you how to detect what keys are being pressed. So I'm going to grab all that code. I'm going to go into my code editor, which I'm using Dreamweaver, but I'm going to be in code view the whole time. So you ha you can use any code editor you want, WordPad, Notepad, whatever. Okay, so if I press F12, or if I run this document in a browser, it's going to show me what keys. It's detecting what keys I'm pressing. It shows me the key pressed and the key code that corresponds with the key being pressed. So that's all well and good. Now we're going to add some code right here. Right under the status where we updated the status to show what key is being pressed, we're going to add some condition logic because it really does us no good to detect keyboard keys if we're not going to de detect specific keys being pressed and do and run specific code for those specific keys. So this shows you how to do that. We have just simple if and else if condition logic going on here. And the first one, the first condition is if key press is equal to W. And remember when I said you can use the key code if you like also? That way you can target the enter key or the shift key. If you want to use the key code instead of the actual key label. You can see I'm using the key labels here just to keep things simple. So if key press equals W is this condition here. This next condition is else if key press is equal to A, then if key press is equal to S, and we have if key press is equal to D. So we have all four of those conditions set up. Now if the user happens to press W, I just put an alert to run that says put script to run specific for W key here. So you would run your specific script for the W key right here in this area. You run your specific script for the A key in this area and so on and so forth for the S and the D as well. Because somebody told me that on Facebook when you press the L key I think it is or one of the keys lets you just like an image. If you're looking at the image you can just press the L key I think and it likes it automatically. So that, that this would be how uh, Facebook is doing that. They're targeting the L key or whichever key automatically likes a picture when the person presses the keyboard key. They're targeting it in this sort of way. And they're running their specific code for their L key when it's hit in the area they have designated here. So I really can't show you what kind of code to run because my application is not really doing anything. It's just detecting the keys being pressed. But you would run any kind of JavaScript that you know how to run. Anything that JavaScript is able to do, you can do in these areas, okay? So let's see if this works. We should get an alert if we press those specific keys. I'll hit some other keys just to show you. Nothing happens when I hit those. But if I hit the W, A, S, or D key, I get an alert that says put script to run specific for the W key here. Alright, so that pretty much shows you everything you need to know, and we're not going to waste any more time. I'm going to get into making some other videos today. I'm going to do a couple of PHP tutorials and maybe a few other things. Okay, I'll talk to you later.